The political stars for Kamala Harris are now beginning to align in such a way and at just the right time that I don't think there is any way Donald Trump is going to defeat her in November. Now, there is a difference between accepting what is happening and holding on to your emotional desire for something you want to happen. Those of you who are already typing, already mad, think that I'm on the side of Kamala Harris, I learned back during the Obama era that what will happen and what's going to happen usually isn't what you want to happen. That's just life. What if I told you this allegation that I've made about Trump and his supporters being in a cult and this being the reason they're going to lose was actually foretold quite a few years ago by one of our favorite YouTube personalities. I dug up this old video and there's a small blurb of evidence that people who support this man have changed their behaviors radically after he got elected. And believe it or not, it will be a good thing when she takes office. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are like, it'll never be a good thing. It'll never be a good thing. I don't even think Trump wants to win. I think he wants to stay out of jail. And I think he wants to continue to raise money and have people send him money. And if he wins the election, that all stops. Make sense? Join us. Battlefield of the Mind. We would love to have you. We got a brand new video over at the Floramaki Patreon channel, just a day or two old. And trust me, it's something you're going to want to see. I have it set at the lowest allowable level so that it is accessible to the maximum amount of people. The folks over Patreon think that I should be charging a minimum of $3 for anything that you put out, $3 a month. And I'm like, no, as long as you'll allow one single dollar, that's what I'll charge. And it'll be refundable for 90 days, no questions asked, and less than a dollar if you sign up for an entire year. Now, without any further delay, let's get right to it. Many times on this channel, I have referred to the Patriot Nurse, and I remembered this video. It came to me in the middle of the night, and this is from a long, long time ago. Um, well, this one isn't, I guess, that long ago, June 14th, 2018. I guess political, politically speaking, that was a long time ago, six years. But I'd like you to hear it from her and ask yourself the question, why would this have happened? And in today's segment, I'm going to take a walk down to the creek and you can join me. I want to talk with y'all about the phenomenon of prepping basically just disappearing off a lot of people's radar. And I want to go over why I think that is and also recap for those of us who have more than a five minute memory, why we're doing what we're doing in many cases. So it seems like a lot of people over the past year and a half have conveniently forgotten the need to, to be prepared for uh, basic things. But I also see that there is a, um, how shall I say this, there is a, a lackluster sort of laissez-faire attitude that a lot of formerly very dedicated preppers um, are now embracing. And I think, look at that, Chuck, my dog. And I think um, partially people are very positive about uh, the economy and they have a lot of reason to be. Um, President Trump, who I've been very critical of at times, has been doing some really good things for people um, and good initiatives, especially as far as limiting the size of federal government, which any freedom-loving person can wholeheartedly endorse, uh, limiting federal regulations and the size of federal government specifically. But there are a few things that have not evaporated, um, and I want to talk about that with you all for a minute. Now, I'll let you watch the rest of this. The title is Why People Stopped Prepping South Africa and California secession. Now, this was 2018. This was quite a while before COVID, and we saw the lack of adherence to the idea of small government on behalf of Mr. Trump when COVID rolled around. It was Mr. Trump's government that shut everything down. It was Mr. Trump's government that was force-masking kids 
And you can go right down the list of everything that happened in 2020. But people stopped prepping. Why? Well, they thought this guy was a savior. A lot of people like, Floor Monkey, we didn't think he was a savior. Well, that's how you behaved. That is exactly how you behaved. You see, in this video, what she's talking about, you might ask, how would Patriot Nurse know if people were or were not prepping? Well, the prepper community on YouTube had relationships with companies that provided prepping supplies. And those companies would provide things called affiliate links. That means we have this thing. You put this link on your channel and advertise our thing. And if people buy through this link, we will give you a small uh, portion of the proceeds. And a lot of these bigger prepping channels made quite a bit of money. Now, when Obama was president, through those links, a lot of money through those links. Now, when Obama was president and everybody was all afraid, oh, it's going to be the mind apocalypse, end of the world and all this stuff. People were prepping like crazy. So these prepper channels were making a lot of money. Making a heck of a lot of money off those affiliate links. Guess what happened when Trump took office? Yeah, everybody's like, oh, Trump is going to save us all. It's time to kick up our feet and relax. And oh, we won't need to prep now. Donald Trump is going to save the world. And he is our new... And this is what, what people were doing. It wasn't a joke. When Trump took office, this was 2018, when Patriot Nurse made this video, there were a lot of channels that were losing a ton of money because people gave up on the idea of prepping, not because they thought the end was near and that everybody's going to die, but they thought that there were no more problems. You see, this is Southern Prepper 1, another video channel that I recommend highly. Uh, boots on the Ground, Economic Doom and Gloom Report. Use it to motivate your preparedness. Now, here's the point of what I'm saying about her. People will, if she gets elected, wake up and realize, hey, we need to get back on the ball. We need to get back on the ball. We can't, Washington, D.C. is not our friend. Not our friend. Trump, you know, he could have been there for four years, he could have been for eight years, 12 years. He's not going to fix it. He's not going to fix it. Remember, Donald Trump said, I'm going to put together the greatest team of, of people ever. I'm not going to do it all by myself. I could never. And I'm going to bring in all these wonderful people and we're going to repeal, repeal and replace Obamacare and we're going to do all these things and none of it happened. None of it happened. You see, Kamala Harris returning to the presidency. And when I say returning, it's basically the same idea as Obama. That That's what he, Trump's not going to, he's going to be a speed bump. Just like McCain was a speed bump. Just like Romney was a speed bump. Because it's a historic time in America. A woman is going to, a woman of color is going to be, I mean, I don't care what color she decides she is. A woman of color is going to be president. And folks will begin to wake back up and start paying attention to the prepper channels. And strangely enough, I get all these comments like, Florida Marquis must have taken some of that Kamala Harris money, and that's why he's saying all these positive things. I just know how people are going to react. I know how people are going to react, and they're going to react just like they reacted back during the Obama administration. And for a lot of channels, like the Patriot Nurse, like Southern Prepper One, like so many others, they're actually going to do financially better. Because people start hitting those affiliate links again and start prepping again. See how that works? And besides, in the debate, the idea of a woman being president is also coinciding with three women's issues being first and foremost in the minds of of a great many female voters. Female issue number one, Donald Trump is a convicted sex offender. Female issue number two, Donald Trump is the one who got rid of Roe v. Wade. Female issue number three, kids and guns. 
ban guns, not people's bodies. And he's going to be debating against a woman talking about women's issues. So, as much as you might like for things to be... Oh, and one more thing. Donald Trump said one of the dumbest things he could have said, and I think, I don't know, if he's just this moronic, this myopic, if he didn't realize what he was saying when he said it. He was trying to make the point that, boy, if you're if you're Jewish, if you're Jewish, you should vote for me, because Trump claims Israel will be gone in two years if Harris is elected president. Think about those words for just a minute. There are a great many people a great many people that were not going to vote for Kamala Harris who might now. Wait, what? There were a great many people who were not going to vote for Kamala Harris who are going to now because to them, that's good news. There were a whole bunch of protesters at the Democratic National Convention who were talking about Genocide Joe and how they weren't going to vote for Kamala Harris because of her pro-Israel stance. Well, now Trump came out and said, oh, no, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. All of you folks out there who were not going to vote for Kamala Harris because you thought she was too much of a friend to Israel, she's not going to be a friend to Israel. She's going to... Israel will be gone with two years if Harris is elected president. And... And that actually speaks to people on the right as well, in his own party. He's got people in his own party, in his own group, that would love to see Israel gone in two years. So now he just told that group of people as well, hey, don't vote for me. Go vote for Kamala Harris. Why? Because Israel will be gone in two years if you vote for her. So he alienated the core of his base supporters and energized the core of her supporters just with this one stupid statement. Now, to people who are pro-Israel, they're going to vote for him anyway. It's preaching... He was trying to inspire preaching to the choir, and he does this all the time. And I hear stuff like this, and I wonder if he's afraid of her. Florida Monkey, Donald Trump is not afraid of nobody. What are you talking about? Trump calls for modifying the 25th Amendment to make it possible to remove a vice president if they were found covering up the, uh, it's about covering up the issues with Joe Biden and his mental capacity. Well, basically the idea here is that Donald Trump wants her removed. Wants her removed so he doesn't have to run against her. I mean, when you have somebody that you're politically opposed to and you think you can beat them in a fair fight, fight them. Don't try to DQ. Imagine a boxing match. Imagine a boxing match where one guy was trying to find all sorts of technicalities to DQ his opponent. What would you think about that? What would you think about that? And wasn't it Donald Trump saying that he wanted to do a redo with Joe Biden? Remember that? Remember when Donald Trump said, hey, let, let's do a, a hold, uh, let's redo uh, the debate with Joe Biden. Let's give him another chance. You know, because he wanted to run against him because he thought he had a better chance of beating him. So much for not being a politician. When it comes to women and their kids, women, reproductive rights, women and their safety, their physical safety when it comes to men, and a man debating a woman about these women's issues, it's just going to be a whitewash. And believe me, the uh, folks who are running the debate are going to have all of these statistics up. What happened in Kentucky, what happened in Pennsylvania with Mr. Trump, what recently happened in Georgia. 
And oh, by the way, Mexico now has a woman who is president. And she's pretty far to the left, too. These are the things that are going to motivate large groups of voters that weren't really involved last time. Large groups of voters that weren't really involved are going to be involved now. But I will leave it there. A couple other great videos, Patreon Nurse. Um, this is a really, really old one. It looks like she might actually be in Florida here. Um, Preppers, control is an illusion. And that's from June... 22 2012 and i guess that's the page with all of her prepper videos um it's just going to be history folks it's just it's just going to be one of these times that you look back at and i know what donald trump's supporters opinions of john mccain are john mccain was still more qualified than barack obama was to be president so making the allegation that Donald Trump is more qualified than Kamala Harris is, is just a ridiculous assertion to make. In the sense that you can't use that to predict an election. Bill Clinton was elected president with 43% of the vote because of Ross Perot. How many of you remember that? 43% of the vote. And he was president for two terms. So you just have to use the standard of what the reality is, not what you wish reality was. And I think maybe that might be the Achilles heel of the Trump cult, is that they live in this pie-in-the-sky world of the world that they wish was. Isn't that what MAGA is? This is pining, this nostalgic pining for a better day that was in the past and we need to go back to and all this stuff. This wishing for a world they wish was and not accepting the one that is. And I think a lot of constitutional and political folks are going to be looking at this election having predicted it being a close election and having it be a landslide in one direction and wondering how they got that so wrong. So, I will leave it there, but once again, prophetic words from the Patriot Nurse. She saw it way back then. And, funny story, all of you, I guess I'll ask all of you capitalists out there, who think money is the answer to every problem always, let the free market decide. Let the people with the money rise to the, the very top and let money control every decision we make. That's capitalism. Money, money, money first, always. No other considerations, only money. That's what capitalism is. If Kamala Harris becoming president would be a financial boon to channels like mine, channels like the Patriot Nurse, channels like Southern Prepper One and all sorts of other prepper and gun channels, if it would be a great financial thing because of people's fear being reawoken, how is that a bad thing? How is that a bad thing? Let me know in the comments, I guess. I'll leave it there. Um, God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. Join us on Patreon. We'll see you guys next time.